Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the evaluation operators. One of the evaluation operators that is expression. So dollar EXPR. So in the previous video, we have seen how to compare the two fields in a single document using the expression we have seen. With an example of budget and the spent, we have seen it, right? So not only with the EXPR comparing the two fields, sometimes we require the ability to execute this lo conditional logic in a query filter so that means we need to add some conditions in our uh, what i can say is in our query so in the exp expr so we have an another operator that is nothing but an condition dollar condition operator to express the conditional statements so by using the combination with the dollar expr and the conditional operator you can specify a conditional filter for your query statements so in order to execute this one to show you a demo so i will try to take a sample collection and I will try to show you a demo. So let's say that <coughs> I am creating a let's try to move a little bit down. Yeah. So I am creating a supplies collection. So inside this collection, I will be creating a doc some of the documents. Something like let's say that item. Okay. So I will be taking the item. And in this item, let's say that I will be adding binder. Okay. So the quantity for this one is QTY is. 100 let's say and the price for this one is let's say 12 okay so let's take another one so with an item of notebook notebook and a quantity i will try to take a quantity of something around 200 and i will try to add a price of something like h okay let's try to press enter let's take another two examples so this time I will take pencil. Okay. So these are the list of things which I want to add it. Pencil and the quantity for this one is only 50. Okay. The price for this one is 6. Take it as 6. And the another one what is I can take is so eraser. I can add an eraser. And the quantities of this one is okay, let's take it as then 150. And the price for this one is each one is 3. So let's insert one last one. I will remove this one. So now, one thing what I want to uh, add is pad, and the quantity I have is a forty-two. Okay. And the price for this one is each one is ten. So let's say that we have these type of supplies. Now, let's try to say check it. So db dot supplies dot find dot pretty. So I am checking the list of all documents. So here you'll be able to see binder, notebook, pencil and eraser and pad which are having quantity and also the price. So this is the collection I'm having. So assuming that now I want to apply the discount for the prices such that how can I apply the discount is for example let's say that if a quantity is greater than 100 I want to apply the discount to the price of something like 0.5 percent. If a quantity is less than 100 so something like 50 or something like that okay. So I want to apply discount of 0.75. So for example, if a quantity is 100 or greater than 100, I want to apply 0.5% of discount to this one. Okay, 0.5% discount means the price should be around 6, 6 rupees only. And if it is this one means I want to apply 0.75%. Okay. So before, so now I would, before applying the discount for this one, I would like to know which items in the supplies collection have a discount less than price. So discount price less than 5, how, how, many, how many documents will be applied? I want to check it before applying the discount. So using this express, express EXPR and the condition operators, so we can calculate, we can find out the documents whose discounts, applied discount price is less than 5. Okay, for example, let's say that here the discount if I applied, so it is equal to 100, I will apply the discount of something around 0 0.5. So that means the price is 6. Okay, the applied uh, discount is six, uh, 6 rupees. So that means it is not less than 5. So this one is discarded. So here this is a 200. So the applied price is, will be around 6 rupees, 6 rupees or something like that. So this one is, all, uh, sorry, so 0 0.5. For this one it is 4. Okay, so if it is 4 means it is less than 5. So I need to pick up this document. So like this, whatever the documents which are, we, for which the discount price is less than 5 it is applied means I want to extract those documents to see before the discount is applied. So what how can I apply is using the EXPR and the condition statement. 
so let's try to write the condition statement first if, uh, for example to write the condition statement i will try to create a variable in such a way that discounted price okay so i am writing here so that you can able to understand clearly so this is an object and here this one will take a condition okay and in this condition so what i can write is so here we will really need to write a condition so in this condition it will take three keys okay three keys that is nothing but what i can say is first one is an if if means this is the condition i can write if greater than or equal to okay which one quantity so quantity if it is greater than or equal to 100 if it is greater than or equal to 100 so then so if it is greater than or equal to 100 then what i need to do so i need to use an aggregation operators something like this multiply we'll try to learn about these things also i will apply multiply so with which one i need to apply so multiply price with 0 0.5 if it is greater than 100 or else i can use an else thing and what i can do here so i will multiply the price okay the price with 0 0.75 so this is the condition thing so what is the thing i am trying to use so here i am creating a variable so that the condition so here i am writing a condition that if greater if quantity is greater than 100 then i need to multiply the price with 0 0.5 if the quantity is less than 100 means i need to multiply with the 0 0.5 okay fine let's try to copy this one okay so i am copying this one let's go to the mongodb here and i will create this variable here so what has happened so let's try to go here so i am copying this one and let's go into this one and i am pasting it here it's not pasting why okay. let's try to paste it oh sorry Let's, let's try to copy it again control c and here i will try to do control v taking so much of time yeah now we got it right so oh, sorry so let's go at the top what has happened to this one sorry has went in such a way Okay, so here we will try to write it again so let's try to add let here so l is missing right so fine redeclaration of let okay so it's taking something like that so discount price is there so discounted price it is already there so we are adding a condition quantity 100 multiply something like that we are having condition now what i need to do is now i need to query the supplies collection using the aggregate expression so to get the documents whose discount price is less than 5 so what i can do here so i can do something like db dot supplies okay dot find so here i can use dollar expr we have already seen so dollar expr and in this one i want to check who less than okay so we will be giving the here the column names right instead of giving the column names here i can give discounted price okay so the condition what i have written here is of having the column names here i will be writing this discounted price and also less than five okay whichever is less than five i am using so now here if i try to press enter so here i am able to get the three documents those are nothing but the quantity is 200 and price is eight so this for this one discount price is less than five for this 50 and six the discount price is less than five and for this one 153 also discount price is less than 5 so if i want to get greater than means so what i can do here so i can use something like this then i will get only so let's say it could take is greater than or equal to okay so now we are getting two items that is nothing but this one is a six and here exactly uh <coughs> so five has been applied okay so this is how we will be using the so this is how we will be applying sorry not five here so something around six or seven it will be applied so this is how we can use the condition operator aggressive condition operator using the dollar expr so this dollar expr and dollar condition operator using this one so we can we can we can get the i documents data we can get a columns data using the condition something like if then and else so like this we can do it so this is all about this expr with a condition thing so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video 
and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you